Christ is risen, truly he is risen. Christos Anesti, Alithos Anesti. It's a joy again to be speaking to you during this Paschal season, during Bright Week. And I wanted to continue our conversation about living the reality of the resurrection. And I wanted to do this by beginning first with a question. When you hear good news, something beautiful happens in your life, uh, you get, you get the, a new uh, gizmo or gadget or a new car or, um, or a, a, you, know, you saw a beautiful movie uh, or there's a good book out that you just can't put down, what's the first thing that you do? Well, for me, oftentimes with these things, I like to share that word of good news with those around me, with those people I care about, and sometimes even people that I don't even know, I tell them about that good news. And I think this quality, this excitement that we can have for even the most mundane of things is a beautiful quality of human beings that God has instilled in us. It's almost like it's an innate capacity that we needed, but perhaps for a more important task. Now, I'm sure you've kind of picked up on what I'm, where I'm going with this because of the language I've used. But we have received the best news, the best good news that we could, that God, who was incarnate, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, resurrected. And in him resurrecting and us being joined to him by the Holy Spirit, we participate in that resurrection too. And the good news of our salvation is that death isn't the end of the story. The good news of our faith is the resurrection. And so what should we do with that good news? Well, we should share it. Share it with every person we see. Share it to not just in word, but in action. I talked about sharing it in word on Monday and on Tuesday. I said we should share it in action with how we interact with one another. But I wanted to drive home the point today. We're midway through, right week. We've had a couple of days here already celebrating the resurrection, experiencing the reality of the good news of the resurrection of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's drive home the point. We have to share this with others. But to do this, we have to be living it. We have to be exuding joy. I think I shared a story with you about a priest who questioned my, my belief in the resurrection because he saw a deficiency of joy in my demeanor and in my facial expressions. This is a time when we should be glowing with the reality of the resurrection and hopefully carrying that that beautiful joy, that exuberance, that radiance of the resurrection throughout the rest of our lives. But let's start here and now. Today, your assignment, so to speak, is to share the good news of the resurrection in one way, any way that you think you can. Share the reality that your joy comes from your faith in our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, and your belief, your hope in the resurrection. And if you can do that once, perhaps it could be the first step to a whole life of sharing the reality of your great joy. Christ is risen, truly he is risen. Christos Anesti, Alithos Anesti. I hope that you have a beautiful remainder of bright week, and I hope that you never cease to rejoice in the joy and the hope of the resurrection. Amen.